Hey everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you how to tessellate. Tessellation is when you can cover a surface with one or more shapes without leaving any gaps whatsoever. You can do it with one single shape or you can do it with many shapes together. Tessellation seems a little bit complex when you think about how everything has to fit together perfectly no matter which way it's turned. So here's the challenge. Let's say I came up to you and said I'd give you $1,000 if you could cut out a four-sided shape that tessellates in under 10 seconds. Let's see if we can do it. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Kind of weird shape, I hope this works. Okay, let's check if it tessellates. Put this down, one like this. There. So how did I happen to choose a shape that tessellates perfectly? The only reason they're not lining up perfectly is because the paper is bent a little bit. You can see if I draw it digitally here that they'll line up perfectly. That could have been a fluke, so let's try something else. Here we go. Let's go straight, then just a little one, then a far one, and then like this. So this is like almost a triangle with the corner cut off. Let's see if that tessellates. Again, this tessellates perfectly. So it wasn't a fluke, it seems like anything I cut is able to tessellate. Notice when I was making my tessellation, that each time I put one of the shapes down, I rotated it 180 degrees from the previous one I set down. If you just do that simple pattern, then you can tessellate your entire surface. So it turns out that any straight-edged, four-sided shape can be tessellated. That's also true for straight-edged, three-sided shapes as well. So any triangle can be tessellated. So why is this true? Any three-sided, straight-edged shape can be tessellated, and also any four-sided, straight-edged shape can be tessellated. In order to tessellate at any vertex of the shapes where all the shapes meet, those angles have to add up to 360 degrees. If you didn't have 360 degrees, then you'd end up with a part of the circle that didn't get covered or some of it that was overlapping. So if you connect four lines in any way, the interior angles always add up to 360 degrees. So that means if you rotate the shape so that any vertex has each of the four interior angles, then they're gonna add up to 360 degrees. So that means they'll tessellate. So what about shapes with interior angles that add up to more than 360 degrees? Could they ever tessellate together? For example, I have a pentagon here. The interior angles of a pentagon add up to 540 degrees. So if you try to tessellate a regular pentagon, it's not gonna work. But if you just draw your pentagon different like this, kind of like a house, then it will tessellate. Because on this vertex, you have 180 plus 90 plus 90, which is 360. And then on this vertex, you have each angle that's 120 degrees, which adds up to 360. There's actually only 15 different types of convex pentagons that tessellate together. The story of how they were discovered is actually pretty interesting. In 1918, a mathematician named Carl Reinhardt found five pentagons that tessellate together. And it wasn't until 1968 that a scientist named Kirshner found three new types. What's funny about this is he also published a proof that said that there were actually only eight pentagons that can tessellate together. So he said that the list was complete. But in 1975, a computer scientist saw this published in Scientific America, and he found actually a ninth type. So it was found that Kirshner's proof was actually incorrect. What's even cooler than this is after the ninth pentagon was discovered that could tessellate, a woman by the name of Marjorie Rice, who only had a high school education in mathematics and was working as a stay-at-home mom taking care of her kids every day, actually discovered four new pentagons that could tessellate together. She would actually just do this on her kitchen table, drawing out pentagons and creating her own notation for the relationships between the pentagons. After Marjorie Rice, there were two more that were discovered, with the latest being in 2015. And we actually still don't know if there are more than 15 types of convex pentagons that tessellate together. Maybe one of you will discover there's actually more. But what about for hexagons? Well, in 1918, the same man that discovered the first five pentagons that could tessellate also discovered that there are only three hexagons that can tessellate together. And as of right now, scientists believe that there are only three hexagons that can fit together. And they've also found that any shape with seven or more sides won't tessellate. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And remember to check out Action Lab Shorts, which is a second channel I have where I do videos similar to this channel, but I do them in less than a minute. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.